we're gonna make something dynamic, something exciting, something a little complicated, but let's get cooking. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna teach you how to make pasta. Let's get cooking. Come on with me. You know, at first I was really happy that he was helping out around the house, but now he's like wearing a chef hat all the time and asking me to iron his apron. There's a part of me that thinks he might be kind of losing his mind. I mean, he kind of acts like the children are his kitchen staff. <laughs> or his customers at some fancy restaurant. <laughs> it's, first it was cute and now I'm kind of worried. It's like I have to wash and iron the apron every day. Like if he gets one like crumb on it, I have to wash and iron the apron. I mean, and also he's using the let's get cooking mantra to apply to everything. Whenever I'm not kind of as fast as I could be to like answer the door or get something, he says, let's get cooking. So it's kind of his way of saying like, I'm slow. Uh, are we, uh, uh, is the apron ready yet? Yeah, it's just like, two, I have two seconds. It's let's done. get cooking. It's done. It's let's done. get cooking. What about the, uh, the strings? You're ironing the strings, right? Well, I mean, they're in the back, right? Do you really need oh. them iron? <laughs> Do you really want them iron? Of course you want. Let's get cooking. You know what I mean? I want them crisp and, uh, you know, this is a quality show. <laughs> See? And he started to make me address him as Chef Jim. Like, if I say, Jim, 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 he doesn't answer. And then I just say, Jim, I'm needing help with, like, homeschooling five kids. And he's like, oh, I didn't hear you talking. And then I realized if I say Chef Jim, he listens on the first time. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put water in a pot and we're gonna essentially boil water. So let's get cooking, let's get cooking. Now what you wanna do is get the water in there. Here, let's get an action shot. Look at, see that water going in there? Wow, that is some water going in a pot. Let's get cooking. Hang in there. Let's get cooking. Still water going in a pot. <laughs> Let's get cooking. Still going in there. Let's get cooking. Now you might want to, you could do other things, but you don't want to leave the water there because if you leave the water there and you forget about it, your whole place is going to be flooded. Let's get cooking. A lot of people ask me, they're like, Jim, you're so good with pasta. Are you by chance Italian? I wish. I only look Italian and have some of the moves of an Italian. Let's get cooking. You know, in Italian it would be, let's get the cooking on. My dad used to play with us until um, he found a cookbook, and now all he wants to talk about is recipes. Yesterday, he wanted to teach me how to make ice. I mean, I like his pasta sauce, and, uh, um, and, uh, his, uh, uh okay. Okay. Let's get cooking. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this big old pot of water and we're gonna bring it over here. Uh, we're gonna bring it over, we're gonna put it on. This thing's called a stove top. Stove top, can you say stove top? Let's get cooking. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a thing I call turning on the stove. So let's go over here. Let's press that thing. There you go. And we put that top on there. Let's get cooking. I think I think it's great that my dad's insane and thinks he's a master chef. We get our screens more often. So one of the things we're gonna do is we're gonna make the most amazing sauce. If you're gonna have pasta, you need sauce or a lot of butter and cheese. So what I like to do is I like to start with this jar sauce, Marinelli's, which gave me the apron, really my mentor in this whole business. You take the sauce and you dump it in there, and then what you do is you take the other one, and I'm gonna do something a little different. I'm gonna pour it in, you know what I mean?
Here, let me show you a little trick I do. It's all about efficiency. So here, what I like to do is I'll add a dab of water in there, shake it up, and then dump the sauce in there, shake it up, and you get some free sauce. No charge for that tip. You know what I mean? Let's get cooking. Sometimes I just wish I could have my old dad. It seems to have supernatural qualities in the sense that he used to be able to, when he took it off, it, he used to be a different person, basically. Um, yeah, we have to take it out from the velvet pillow that he keeps it encased in, and then we have to iron it out. Then after ironing it, we have to take this wig head that he has that's sculpted to look just like his face, and we have to put it on top of the wig head and make sure that it's fitted in the way that he likes it, which is like a little bit tighter so that yeah, it stays on. It's actually two wig heads kind of put next to each other. His head is that big. And the let's get cooking thing, it's not just like in the kitchen or around like meal times. It's constantly like if I'm in the middle of an online class, he'll waltz into my room and just kind of proclaim, let's get cooking. And it also happens when my siblings are like brushing their teeth or anything, or if they need to go to bed, then he'll just kind of like tuck them in and say let's get cooking and nothing else it's sort of the the chef had it's and now when he takes it off he's the same consistent let's get cooking chef persona that he had with the hat on one time i was woken up in the middle of the night because i heard some noise and so it was coming from my parents room and so i just kind of peeked in and he was actually saying let's get cooking in his sleep and that wasn't the only strange thing that I witnessed in the nighttime. One time, another time I got out of bed in the middle of the night and found my dad in the kitchen, completely asleep and cooking baked Alaska in the kitchen. I, I don't know if it's an actual thing, but I think he was sleep cooking. Check on our pasta. You know what they say, a watch pot never boils, right? Let's get cooking. Let's get now, after it. But you know what I do do? Is I'll give it up. Let's get cooking. Let's get cooking. Hey, how you doing there, teenager? Are you looking forward to dinner with Chef Jim? I always do. Yeah. Let's get cooking. Let's get cooking. It's time to check on our boiling water. Come on in. Let's see. Ooh, isn't that fun? It's getting close. It's getting close. Let's get cooking. Let's get cooking. Let's get cooking. Come on here. What I've done is I've preheated, well, I had my wife preheat some of these meatballs and I put them in there in the, in the meat sauce. And what I, what I, my assistant, who I affectionately call my wife, what she's done is she's put some olive oil in these trays and some salt. And what we'll do is we'll dump the pasta on there and then we'll put more olive oil on it and it'll taste good, right? What's your name, young lady? No sexual harassment in the workplace. Let's get cooking. Come on over here. When you're annoyed by something not cooking, just stir stuff that's already there. You know, I remember when I was approached People are like, Jim, are you sure you're not Italian? You're so good at cooking Italian food. I'm not Italian, but I've been told that I look like I eat a lot of Italian food. It's a little joke here on Let's Get Cooking. Let's Get Cooking. Let's Get Cooking. Let's Get Cooking. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a thing I call putting pasta into boiling water. Now what you do is you take your pasta, you open it up like this, and you just go. And then you take another box and you go like. You don't have to say the we, but I feel like it helps a lot. And then you just jab this stuff down. What I do is always add salt because it adds little flavor. It helps, I don't know, I'm not a scientist, but I think it helps the pasta hold on to flavor or something. I don't know. You nerd, ask a nerd. 
you know what I mean? What do you expect me to know everything? Put this on here, and then we're gonna come back in eight minutes, but we also can do our pasta test, which is always fun. Let's get cooking. It's dinner with the Gaffigans. Dinner with the Gaffigans. We always do a different musical opening. Let's get cooking. So what we're, what we're doing now is we have a very special dinner with the Gaffigans. Tonight we are gonna have pasta with meatballs and my famous peas. But you know what? You can only have peas if you say peas. <laughs> Mari, come on with me. Let's check in on our pasta. Oh, what's going on there? Do I keep boiling it? I don't know. Let's get cooking. Who's ready for my pasta? That's a spicy meatball. Oh. Jack. There's a little hole for what? the ladle. You can come over and spice it. What? Can you come over and get my sauce? Anonymous donated five dollars. Captain Crunch donated five dollars. The Captain Crunch. Ooh. No, you know what? Here's my assistant. Uh huh. Watch oh, Captain Jim. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> so what I do is I, Jeannie, you're doing it right. Thank you. So keep, you know, you're going a little bit beyond the sauce. Okay. But what I need you to do is flip. I mean, what you taught me to do is flip. Yeah. The ones in the oil on the bottom over. Wow. And what Very I call good. this, what I call what we're doing right here is called rotating the pasta in the olive oil. Oh. You can practice at home, but. We, we should have put it in a big bowl and mixed it all and then delegated it, but it was out of control. Place, place. How many restaurants have I opened over, across the country? Right. And in As... Monaco? When I bring food over, it's not uncommon for people to start singing. So let's watch that. Here's the pasta. It's a little bit of a topsy turvy dinner, but you know what? It is, in the end, it's so important to be with the people you love or your family. That was fun, right? Let's get cooking. Hit the subscribe button down below, and then we'll get back to cooking. Let's get cooking. That's how you cut, right?